All right, so continuing from the last recording session where I was complaining about GitHub, I have something specific to complain about with GitHub, and you were involved this time. So as the backstory to this, I a while ago I installed in, or I did an add-on for Firefox, it was just a like YouTube downloader thing, and I wanted to download MP3s, because if I'm downloading a, a song from a game, I don't need the visuals. But for some reason, it lets me download MP4s just fine, but does not allow me to, uh, it just like doesn't allow you to download MP3s for some weird reason, it just gives you a weird message. So I went to the, the Firefox add-on page for it, and there was some peep. I, there was a bunch of people saying, this is a scam, it doesn't let you uh, do the thing that is, just like go find something else basically. There was one specific person that mentioned a program, I don't even know if it's called, it's a program necessarily, uh, something on GitHub called YT-DLP. He's like, don't use this, use YT-DLP instead. And I did that, and it's a fucking disaster. Even when you go to the page, and it, go to the releases page, which I now know to do, there's a million things to download, and one of them was actually an EXE, so I was like, okay, maybe this isn't actually as, as this isn't as stupid as I thought. So you download the EXE, and you launch it, and it opens up command prompt saying, hey, you can't use this EXE, you have to go read the readme on how to use it correctly. And then I go to the readme, and it's a fucking novella, like Lord of the Rings-ass amount of words that I have to scroll through. And what really got me was that at the top it says, Control F is your friend. Like, wow, thanks. As if I, as if that helps at all and I would even remotely know what to do with all of these words. I, I, I Control F MP3 and I get no useful information whatsoever. Two things. One, you didn't even need to get a crazy ass command prompt application to do this. And two, at this point in your life, you should really know how to use command prompts. Fuck you! <laughs> Shut the hell up. This this is not this is non-negotiable. You Dude, should, you should have been using computers for long enough that you should at least understand like how to open command prompt. I think. No, I know how to use command prompt. You couldn't even figure it out because you were helping me try to figure. Yeah, this but shit you out. you were like, oh, I can't open it. Yeah, because I fucking you. Like I, what? It's a fucking, it's a humongous page full of bullshit. I could not make heads or tails of like any of it. It was needlessly complicated, but also I can't entirely defend you. Come on, come on, this is I ridiculous. Can't but you, 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 motherfucker, you were the one that had to show me a completely different program that actually worked for the average person. That's the thing, like, there is a better option, and we used it. How am I supposed to, out of the hundreds and thousands of, like, lines of text on that readme, how was I supposed to find anything useful related to what I want? I mean, using it is fine. Like, I just had to type in YTDLP and then put in the URL, and that worked. But I'm not complaining about it working in general, I'm complaining about why is trying to get the mp3s out of it like you can't just do like ytdlp mp3 and then put in the url that doesn't do anything we you had to do a bunch of weird ass like okay. third like workarounds and then those workarounds didn't even do okay. anything you needed ffmpeg and we were about to get it and i was like oh wait we should just get this instead i have ffmpeg so i tested on my own computer and it did work because i do have ffmpeg Fuck FFmpeg. Fuck open source. Fuck and fuck Linux. you. Fuck keyboards. Making me have to type in boxes and shit. <laughs> this is bullshit. I acknowledge that I am just dumb when it comes to this kind of thing, but I don't accept that that is the average user who just goes to Google and types in YouTube to MP3 or 4 downloader like me, would come across that that Firefox add-on. And if also, like me, you go through the reviews trying to see if there's like an alternative, and you see some random dude suggest something on GitHub, there's no, there was no like warning for the fact that I was gonna be thrown into the fucking wilderness. 
uh, didn't it didn't warn you that it was gonna be command line at all? There, there was no warning about. I I can use command prompt. I made several fucking Smash Four like custom voice mods, and you have to use the shit out of uh, you have to, you have to use the shit out of command prompt for that. So it's not like I'm completely stupid. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Are you just experimenting? Yes. I really don't have anything else to say on that. We need holy water. I, I mean, I don't... I, I can't help you, man. I know, that's the problem. You literally were not able to help you me. You got it. You got it. I just realized. No, I... Yeah, I was. Oh, shit, that's... <laughs> I was like, wow, we're getting a lot of AVP, all right. If I had, like, gone through with the whole FFmpeg bullshit, I think it would have worked, but... At Whatever. the end of the day, the command line one would be better if you were writing some kind of crazy script that, like, used it. But all you want is just downloading MP3s, so... At least my problem is solved now, so I'll, I can stop complaining about GitHub. To me, it's just like... This is the way the world works, and... The, you fall in line or you die. That's <laughs> the Parap of the Rapper 2 lyric. What? You better get in line. That's all. Yeah, but that wasn't about like a regime. That was about <laughs> getting in line for a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes better than limes. But I can't deny. It was Mario Day last week. I only bring this up because the Thousand Year Door remake got a release date finally and I've been sitting on one of my Nintendo vouchers waiting to use it on something because none of the current Nintendo games like kind of interest me right now so I was like maybe I'll use it on a Thousand Year Door remake. It has pre-orders up right now but even though I went to go use the voucher on it Nintendo's website says, no, you can't do that because your voucher will be expired by the time the game comes out. <laughs> so, that's awesome. That's stupid. Really, this is to say, I have no damn clue what I'm even gonna use, what I'm gonna use it on. It's either really, pretty much between Mario Wonder, but I just beat that game co-op with somebody else, and Tears of the Kingdom, which I don't care about. I know I'm not gonna like that game very much. You played Mario Wonder? Is it at all engrossing? It was very fun and interesting for the first playthrough, and I know it's not going to be nearly as fun in the second playthrough. I did not like what I played of Mario Wonder. You just straight up didn't well, like it. Well, I mean, it was like, it was like something to do, but I just, I wasn't enjoying it. I feel like it says a lot that like we play all these, played it with Roman, and we're like, yeah, let's stop. But like we were able to beat these stupid ass Kirby games <laughs> for some reason. I don't even understand what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that was about because when I was playing it with Devin, I was expecting to be like, ugh, can't wait to actually beat this game for real. But I actually did enjoy it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's way better. And a lot faster. Yeah. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Die. Okay. Don't ask me how this ended up happening, but a long time ago I played it on a Maple Story private server with a Roman. So it was an old version of Maple Story. Right. And we were like level 15 or whatever. He was like looking at his stats page where it shows your damage. And he was like, Maple Story, where you do anywhere from 2 to 85 damage <laughs> per attack. <laughs> because for some reason basic attacks, at least in old Maple Story, were like 1 damage all the way through your max damage. Anywhere in that range. But like, you're not even s supposed to use basic attacks in it. Yeah, no, it's like, you're, you're never supposed to swing that axe regularly ever again. Dead. Why did he die? They do vampire in... Oh, I, actually, I do know. They, they do vampire as a counter occasionally. And counters happen before things die. They just poison them twice. Yeah, I doubt it does anything, but you did do that. What's your opinion on P rank as <sighs> above S rank? How about this? What if I said I don't even like rankings in general? Well, actually, I, I kind of, I don't know how I feel about rankings in general. When I get a good rank, I'm like cool. When I get a bad rank, I'm like okay, and then I move on. <laughs> I, I, I've not I've not played a game where I want to like go back and get a really good rank. Well I only bring this up because 
I'm not sure how recent it is. It feels like it happened all at once where it's like, I played Pizza Tower and that has a P rank. And when I, I first heard about it, because like NPCs tell you about it, I was like, Oh, P like pizza. That's that's like yeah, funny, I, I guess. I thought that too. Okay. But I, with how serious the P rank screen looks, and the fact that P rank is in other things, I guess it really is supposed to be the new perfect. What else is it? It's in Ultra Kill. I don't know how that game's. I don't know if that game does like D through A and then S and then P. I don't know how that game works, but that game has P and fucking Smash Bros. tournaments are ranked depending on like the relative skill level of the players there and their maximum rank is p rank above s why can't it be like x rank or something x x rank yeah let's go up to triple x x s x s plus plus <laughs> i'm okay with going with s being the uh grade above A just because it's I'm used to it, but having another letter above S and it being fucking P, like P is a terrible letter. Yeah. S, S is like style it. And I mean, I, I don't even count stuff like, um, oh my god, I <laughs> can't own. I don't even count stuff like, uh, like triple S or double S or because you, you have like Kingdom Hearts 2 with the gummy missions that go up to like S plus 10. And that's one, that's one thing, but at least it's still just S. M-S-F. Me Sword Fighter. I think XS is good. Yeah, XS uh, I'm okay with. Because again, it's just S. But especially, I mean, especially fucking uh, having rankings for... What? This thing isn't undead? <laughs> you if we're gonna have a ranking above S, it needs to be a hell of a lot better than the letter P. That's all I want to say. Isn't the best rank in Sonic Riders like XX or something? I think so, yeah, but that game's ranking system is so fucked up. At this point, I I like it when it's just the best rank is A. So Sonic Adventure 2 is your favorite ranking system is what you're saying. The best way to do it is just Meat Boy. You either get an A plus or nothing. I actually would agree there, yeah. I think that is that is the most satisfying, just a check mark. Like, did you yeah. beat the level fast enough? Like what when I look at my all my fucking stages in Sonic Adventure 2, it's like I got B's and C's. Like, I don't I don't know. Why not just be like you did it worse or <laughs> good enough? Yeah, because it's not like the ranking means anything unless it's the best ranking. Yeah. Then if uh if your rank if like what you were saying earlier where if you do get something for your ranking, then there's definitely no point in the ranking because it just is pointless anyway. The bonus gauge in disguise could be like, argued that it's like an obfuscated ranking system because it's just basically depending on how well you use the mechanics of the game, you get more items. That's true, I never really thought about it like that. Although the uh, bonus gauge in disguise one is fucked up. Did you see that Gilbert Gottfried died? <laughs> That it was the day after the finale of Smiling Friends came out yesterday. What a shame. So, it was today. Yeah. Man. He died like an hour ago. I can't wait for uh, Persona 3 to come out. <laughs> I can't wait for Shin Megami Tensei 3 to come out. Oh yeah, another topic about uh, related to what we talked about last time where I said that uh, at least Reddit is more likely to give you an answer than official forums for whatever program you're using. And I actually do have an example of that not necessarily being the case where for a while I was trying to figure out how I could use some kind of cheat thing to remove La Harlan Company from Disgaea 1 because you can't remove story members from the party. So I went to Reddit, I was like, hey, does anybody know how you can cheat? do some kind of like cheat code or data editing or because there's mod tools for the game so i was like maybe somebody knows something but uh every fucking person on that thread just goes well you know you don't have to use them i was like yeah thanks not my fucking question it was just repeatedly just people giving me non-answers to my question I'm like you're all fucking useless and then you just figured out the problem in like a minute yeah cheat engine because like Memory searching, cheat making stuff is fun for me because it's it can be like agonizing, but the more agonizing it is, the more you celebrate when you figure it out. 
But that one was actually pretty easy. Or at least, I, I don't know, either easy or like my... Because I just was like, I wonder if this would work, and it just did, so I, maybe I just got really lucky. But also, I don't I don't like disparaging people for trying to help. But also, if it's like, you, if you're just gonna be like, I don't know, why do you want to do it? It's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't have an answer to my problem, don't bother responding. There was one guy in the thread who said, you can probably do something with Cheat Engine. And that wasn't a direct answer, but it was at least something. It was at least an answer that wasn't just being a sarcastic dickhead for no reason. Galoob really does not like those mini mages. He's going exclusively for them. Man, everything has a lot of health. It's mostly just that our our damage is so all over the place, because your two characters target randomly. I can't believe Galoof is still alive. I love Kaluf. He's my favorite character. I like how he's a, like a hamster right now. <laughs> he's, wearing, he's wearing like a rat outfit. He's a rat. House. <laughs> you know, rewatching the uh, the Press Buttons and Talk Ace Attorney Investigation series, it reminds me of how weird the timeline is in that game because the first case is the second to last, like chronologically in that game, where you, you do that case and then Edgeworth is like, hmm, this reminds me of when I met Kay, and then it flashes back to when they met Kay, and then they do that, and like, hmm, this reminds me of when I was young and I did my first case. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, this reminds me of when, when I was a child, and you play as like baby Edgeworth. This reminds me of when I died at 84. <laughs> And then the last case fucking sucks. Don't they all kind of suck? Well, yes. <laughs> Investigations oh, one. Did. Oh my god, he actually, yeah, he actually hit me. Where I, in in watching those highlights, it just reminds me that because the game is structured in a. Like, it's not like the original games where it's investigation, trial. It's just all investigations, basically. It never feels like you get anything done. Because, like, every argument is pointless. Yes. It's like you do a bunch of investigation and then a character shows up to just be like, let me make sure that you, the player, actually understand the plot so far. What is arguing with the killer trying to tell him that they're the killer accomplishing? <laughs> and you don't even get to see him put in jail. Like, at least when you're playing as Phoenix, you get to see the big-ass guilty verdict or not guilty verdict. It's like, damn, that's sick. I did that. But with Edgeworth, it's like, I don't know, maybe they'll just get a corrupt defense attorney. Mini Mage looks like a lemming or something. <laughs> In the last playthrough, you said that he looks like us. He has, like, the same perspective as yeah. us. Yeah, that's from a Lunas Honest video. There was one where <laughs> they have a bunch of, like, intercourse-related items <laughs> and but and Ethan grabs some bottle or something and he, and he reads it and he goes like deep throat lozenge mystical <laughs> mist <laughs> and it's like oh. there's a thing in Seinfeld where George is like it may look like I dress the same all the time but I have very subtle themes this is morning mist <laughs> mega accurate because it's magic yeah, it can't miss. This is the only time that I've ever seen Aqua Breath actually be good, and it's because I don't have access to Summoner or Black Mage, and I don't have a Roga. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep using these. Yeah, might as well. They're not going to do a whole lot against uh, the boss. And they don't cost very much, so we can just buy more when we really need them. You know, I, I just randomly looked up Temtem, because I because after all this Pal World stuff, I was like, oh yeah, I remember... Temtem, that was like the original Pokemon yeah, ripoff. And I looked it up, and it's a fucking like live service game now. <laughs> and it, yeah. it has, it's like, its overall reviews are like still very positive, but its recent reviews are mostly negative because, yeah, it's just like, it has like battle passes and does like live service stuff and shitty PvP. I thought that that game, when that was first came out, people were like, this is so awesome. Yeah, I guess it's just a completely different game now. I wonder if it just like failed right out of the gate and they were they're like, yeah, we gotta figure it out. We gotta figure out how to get the whales. There were some reviews mentioning that some things were just removed from the game because people complained about them. And the developers were like, well, if you don't like it, then you don't get to play with it anymore. <laughs> 
I don't know how actually true that is, but if that is true, that's really sad, but also pretty funny. <laughs>